So, five years ago, when I was in the third grade, me and my class were going on a field trip because, you know, summer was around the corner at that time. So, we just got a field trip. And when we were getting ready, I was doing my crafts, and the teacher told me to, like, hurry up. But I immediately just, like, went to the line for excitement because we were going to the downtown aquarium. And it took a long while when we were at the bus, and then we were finally there at the downtown aquarium. Um, so we were getting ready, me and my friends were just talking, and then we looked at the really cool fish that was there. And then we were told to touch stingrays. I was a scaredy kid at the time, and I just, like, did not really want to touch the stingrays because, for obvious reasons. So the teacher tried to cheer me up, and it actually helped. So we were taken to go to the next ride to look at some sharks. So when the announcer just warned us that, like, about the fake bloody shark, and then when I looked at the fake bloody shark, I just burst into tears because I didn't realize that. I just thought it was real. Big mistake. I just got scared over a fake bloody shark. And my teacher tried to cheer me out by going to those little floor fountains that just, like, that water bursts out of nowhere. And me and my class were able to get wet, actually. We actually really had a fun time. And we were eating lunch, and then after lunch, we went back to the buses because we had to go to school because it's almost the end of the day, and we can't, like, miss our dismissal. And that was it. So moral for this video, don't look at big, fake, bloody sharks. So, five years ago, when I was in the third grade, we were doing work on our iPads. And we were told to have a bathroom break. So, after the bathroom break, the students were looking outside of the window. I was curious, so I went and looked outside of the window, and there was smoke. Like, actual smoke outside of the window. Like, my heart started racing. And then the teachers told us to go back into class. And we continued doing our assignments, and... And then the principal said that we are in lockdown. And then my heart raced a little bit more. So we just left our iPads on the floor. And then we like hid under our desks. And after a few minutes, then we had to evacuate the school. Because they said that the smoke was getting closer to our school. And I just started crying. And then my friend David tried calming me down. And then we had to wait for the buses. It took a little while for the buses to come, and Mr. P tried to calm me down, and then we went in the buses. And they went try to calm me down again by not looking at the smoke. But when I looked at the smoke, it was so big, like, little orange fires are, like, bursting out of the smoke. So, we were taken to the stadium near Stratford High School, and... We were actually ended up on the news, like, like news people were recording us, and then, like, telling us, like, what happened, and then, as soon as I got in the stadium, there were a bunch of kids in the stadium, like, there were, like, like, a hundred of people in the stadium, and then uh, we sat down on the chairs, it took, like, we had to, like, stay there for the rest of the afternoon, and then it was time for dismissal, and then they were, like, calling out names, and then it was mine and my brother's turn. They were like, Joe and Steve, uh, come down come down immediately. And then we went down, and then Mom came with Dwayne, too. And then Mom and Dwayne were so worried about us, and then we just left the stadium waiting for this nightmare to be over. As soon as we got home, we looked at the news, and yep, there we were in the news about the smoke near our school. So, the thing I experienced is about the smoke coming near our school, and I will never forget that this ever happened. So, last summer at nighttime, I was editing a video on my laptop, and then I saw something jump, like, jumping around the apartment. And I looked, and then I saw a small frog jumping around our apartment. And then Dwayne saw it, and we went to go get mom, and then she was like, what? Stephanie heard about the frog, so we had to go catch the frog. 
We were looking around, and it didn't take a long time to find a frog. It only took, like, a few seconds. And we finally found the frog. We caught the frog. We took it outside, and we just let it free, and it went to go jumping around outside. We closed the door. We were laughing for relief, and I said I could film the video, but my phone was dead. Well, yep, there it is, and it was a wild night. So last year, when it was cold outside, I was waiting for the buses to come. Until I quickly realized that I missed the bus. And our phone services were off at the time, so I do not know what to do. So I went to the school and then borrowed their phone and I tried to call Dad. But I forgot. Our phone services were off that time. So I asked them, like, it won't work. So they had to call Mom for me. And then she told me, oh my god, are you okay? Like, did you miss the bus? And I was like, yeah. And then... They told mom that I had to go wait outside of the detention room. So it took a minute because when I was just waiting, I was bored. So I got on my phone and started listening to music. I didn't go to other things like YouTube because our phone services were off. So it took a minute until I was ready to go to the bus. And then when I went to the bus, it was just cold outside. And then it's a wonder that I even made it home. So... Moral for this video is do not miss buses like I do because last year I missed a bus a couple of times.